Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can change the editor billboard of an actor to pretty much any image you like. So here we have just an actor with absolutely nothing in it, and here you can see the icon which is the editor bloop, um, sorry, the blueprint um, editor uh, billboard. So in order to change this, let's enter our uh, actor. This can be pretty much any actor actually, and here we have default scene root. I'm going to say add a billboard and make sure it's the billboard component and not the material billboard component. So we select our billboard, we can name this whatever we want, I'm just going to keep it billboard. And then we drag this on top of the default scene root to make it the root. So then we have a whole bunch of uh, inputs for the actual image here, which is uh, mainly the sprite which is just an image file. Now, I've already gone ahead and imported some images uh, you probably noticed already so I'm going to go the first one with uh, the angry cat image. Now You can see it is fairly large so if I open the map here you can see it's pretty big uh, so in order to change that uh, you can go here in the self, so not the billboard component, but the self, you can set the editor billboard scale. And this can be a value, whatever you like. I'm going to set it to 0.5. There, that's already a lot better. So now we have set it to whatever image we like. But now uh, you may have noticed I have three different images. And that is uh, because there is a uh, another thing that is quite useful for you as an editor, so not some, this is not so much for the player as it is for you yourself, which is to go into the construction script, drag off from your billboard, and say set sprite. So if you don't know what the construction script does, basically this will run even before begin play. So this will run even when you just drag it into the editor boom, it just played the construction script. As you can see, because the construction script sets the billboard to none, so we don't actually have a billboard now. If I go and change this to uh, a different cat, and compile, of course, now you can see it is a different cat. So, um, what use is this? Is Well, let's say you have like an enemy spawner, and you want to know which of the enemies this one will spawn um, right from the editor without having to click on it. So let's go ahead and create a new variable and call it uh, cat type. Uh, and let's create an enumeration and call this e underscore cat type. So we have three different cats. So we have, uh, what was it, angry, we have uh, bewildered, uh, bewildered, and we have, uh, what was it, F uh, jump, I don't remember, but that's fine. So now we can set this cat type variable to our enum to e cat type. So make sure to check the public icon to make this instance editable which means that we can drag it into our scene and edit it from there and then we ga grab our cat type we grab our sp uh, drag off from cat type say select and drag the return value into our new sprite and then for the angry I will pick the uh, I will pick the angry cat for the bewildered I will pick the bewildered cat and for the jump, I will pick the jump cat. So now, you can see here, this is the angry cat. Now this one, I don't want this one to be angry. I can go here to the default, which is, you can see this uh, if you put this on instance editable. So let's say I hide this, then as you can see, it disappears. Set it to instance editable, compile, and there it is again. Under the default category, you can give it a category right over here, uh, let's say cat. Yeah, cat type, there we go. So now if I find the cat type, I can set this one to bewildered, and as you can see, because this is in the construction script, 
you can see that it changes it immediately. So this one is the jump cat. There we go. But now as you can see, if I play, you will notice they're not there because this is solely an editor thing. So not so much for the player as for you as a developer. This can be useful to keep things organized, keep things clean, or just like I did, add cats everywhere on your screen. <laughs> So if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments, don't hesitate to ask, and I hope to see you again next time. Good luck!